Hello and welcome gorgeous Taurus to your monthly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Just take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't resonate. So let's see what your first card reveals. And it's your personal unicorn, which in fact is your guardian angel. Your guardian angel is very present right now. You can call upon them this month if you need them. They want to bathe you in pure love. So through meditation and prayer, you can connect with them in this way and feel this high vibration. Stay open to unicorn magic. Stay open to angelic blessings and magic because there's going to be there's going to be spirit saying there's going to be a blessing after a storm. So, OK, this storm is going to be different for everyone. Um, of course, you'll know what that is in your life and your circumstances. But that's what they're saying to me. So this month, expect a blessing after the storm. And it does make a lot of sense with the number here. The numerology is one. So that speaks of new beginnings and new blessings coming in. Listen to your heart. If there is a decision, a big decision that needs to be made this month, listen to your heart. Awakening psychic abilities as well. Maybe something that you're interested in doing or you could be a psychic, a clairvoyant, an intuitive, an empath already. Tune into the infinite. So of course, tuning into all that is true source energy. This deck is for receiving messages from a passed over loved one. So if you have a passed over loved one you would like to receive a message from, you can think of them now. I always give you a good night kiss. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I feel you already know this. I feel that you can sense it in some way that they are there in your life in a very present way. And they may, you may feel a good night kiss. You may feel a physical sensation when they are near. Beautiful. I have no more earthly worries. So perhaps their earth, earthly life was tricky, troublesome. Um, they may have been through many ups and downs. Perhaps their passing was not easy. Um, whatever you know was their concerns or worries on earth. It's They've been cleared of this and they want you to know that they don't have any of that um, residue. They don't have any residue spiritually from that they have cleansed. I have no more earthly worries. Um, so they have a beautiful high vibrational energy and spirit, which may be different to how they were when they were alive. So they want you to know that. I want you to know that Taurus. Guidance for Taurus, please spirit. The pig symbol, maintain self-worth and self-esteem. So yeah, this is important. Um, I feel for you because there may be a situation. I do feel there is a situation for some where um, there may be a loss or disappointment or it might be a kind of a transitional phase right now. So during this transitional phase, whatever it represents for you, be sure to maintain your self-worth and self-care and self-esteem through the changes. And I feel that's why spirit is wanting to bathe you in pure love and light and um, want you to know that those um, personal blessings are going to come through after a storm. The goat. Act from your innate wisdom. Act from your intuition. Act from your inner instincts and you know go with your gut if someone is saying do it a certain way I would go with your intuition on this I would go with your feelings don't be persuaded by others I 
Archangel Metatron, increase your light levels, open your stellar gateway chakra. So this energy is about increasing your energy levels. Now, this might resonate in terms of your physical body. I do sense that for some. I sense your physical, your physical body is in need of rejuvenation, recuperation, um, more rest, sleep, taking better care of your physical body is a priority this month. And this will increase your light levels, your energy levels. Being aware of your thoughts and whether they are affirming positive things or more negative things seems to be important as well. And connection into spirit, of course, will bring through a high vibration in general. Archangel Mariel, manifest for the highest good and work with pure love. Beautiful. So you get to manifest. There is a an opportunity for you to manifest the highest good in your life. So if there's a transition coming up this month for you, which there may be, I do sense that for some might be changing jobs, work, career, might be relationship changes, place the energy where it fits for you. You can, in fact, through this transition, you can manifest the highest good if you hold that intention. Guidance for Taurus, please. Spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Taurus, please. The Five of Spring. Opposing goals arising from differing opinions. So there could be a clash of interests. There could be an opposing view. Feeling at odds with yourself or maybe with others. And overly ambitious people. Um... Now, there may be some discord or some disruption, tension in a relationship or in your workplace or even personal life. It might be in a personal relationship. It's because you have different points of view. So greater communication is needed. The dreamer is a new start, fresh, new beginning. Embrace your true purpose. So it's kind of I feel you're moving in the right direction for opening up a pathway to allow you to go walking down this path, which is in fact your true purpose. So this might resonate in terms of your work and what you do day to day. Um, it might be your true purpose in terms of your relationships. Um, begin a new adventure. So there seems to be a newness associated with this as well. And trust yourself, trust your instincts, just like I was picking up with the goat energy. It's so important to trust your innate wisdom over other people's opinions. Trust yourself. The six of autumn. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money and borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. So this may be true for you. Perhaps there's going to be an influx, an increase of abundance, money, it may, this is a material thing, so it might be to do with your health, your wealth, um, and your possessions. It, there, it looks to me like this is a stepping stone. It looks like a doorway is going to open for you, a pathway, just like the dreamer here. A new pathway will open up so you can kind of get back on track with things, your true purpose when it comes to material things in your life, if that's what you are concerned about or if you have worry about this. The wheel energy delays are over. Things are going to start to get moving for you. Sudden or unexpected good luck. So stay open to that. Beautiful. A new car or travel may also be on the horizon for you, symbolizing the wheel, of course. And the wheel can sometimes mean that there are things that are outside of your control, but you have to kind of go with the flow with it. And things are looking up. Good fortune and good luck follow you this month. The four of autumn. Manage your resources wisely. So we're going back to that message here of um, your material life with the six of autumn as well. Manage your resources wisely and you'll get have the best outcome. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. And help out those who are less fortunate. 
and the three of summer news worth celebrating. So there's good news on the horizon. So you can expect some wonderful news from someone this month. You may receive an invitation to a social event. There may be an announcement such as weddings, graduations, or births, and also new friends, potentially with the full energy, the dreamer energy and the wheel, new friends, new social situations, new work situations. Uh, new people coming into your life this month, uh, friends that you cherish, old friends may also be coming um, through and new communication may be happening with old friends. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition. How does this answer resonate with your question? You can trust your instincts. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope you have a fabulous month. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.